I'm Martin. I'm a senior developer at Locale at GitLab. And today, this challenge is about figuring out whether GitLab Duo can create specific code for a programming language version, which is Java 7 or Java 8. Um, I, I think Java 7 is relatively old. Um, but I'm I'm not really deep into that. So my open GDK on Mac OS is version 18. Um, but let's see. So considering that Java 7 might be a mature language, um, one way to trigger do GitLab Duo or use GitLab Duo is using code suggestions by creating a new file. Um, and in a new file, you need to provide the context that you actually want to use Java 7. So in this example, we can say we want to generate a new class for file manager or whatever object or classes we, we need, um, and then explicitly instruct the prompt to say, use Java 7 features only. Um, and this is just like one way we can see, we have um, the code suggestions icon here. We can, where we can use top to complete that. We get quite a lot of context here um, on a context uh, code generation, which is great. The next step we can do is, um, for example, select that and then ask GitLab to do a chat and say, um, explain what the source code does um, and check whether this is Java 7 only, um, like refining a prompt and um, getting additional uh, verification that this is only using Java 7. Now, what we can do now is uh, we can also refactor the source code and say refactor um, using Java 8 uh, features. So maybe there's an improvement in Java 8, uh, which didn't exist yet in Java 7. Um, and it's actually super fast today. Um, the code might be a little longer because it's we got a lot of code, uh, but let's let's have a quick look what we, we actually want to do here. Okay, generated something. Let's go down to the key changes made. In the constructor, we will remove the explicit check for the direct existence. Uh, as file create directives, we'll create the directive if it doesn't exist. Okay, the constructor is this, and the constructor is over there. So it actually it's a, it makes the code more readable. So we don't need to explicitly have the check for that, uh, which is a, is a great language feature that, that have, has been changed. Um, what else has changed? The lead file method. So it, yeah, I would say generally um, it helps improve uh, the code quality. So if you consider upgrading to Java 8 at some point, that's possible. But the uh, the challenge here was to generate Java seven code. Um, what we can also do is like use code suggestions to generate um, similar source code which uses Java eight functionality. And there we can see um, that it provides us with like a similar uh, code generation uh, what we've seen from the refactoring command in GitLab do a chat on the right hand side. So I think this is a great short example or short challenge uh, to show that GitLab Do is capable of generating code for a specific language um, or a specific language version, in this case, Java 7 or Java 8, um, for, existing, for an existing code base, uh, GitLab Do might be able to adapt what it has in the specific context. So if you, for example, already have Java 8 code and you say, um, at a uh, logging functionality, it might already know um, what what the current context is, what the syntax is, and then just continue um, with the current style, with the current functionality. Um, the thing, the great thing is, if you consider or like you compile it, you run it, um, and then it breaks because the version is not compatible, you can always select that and either right click and say, uh, GitLab do a chat refactor or use the chat command and say refactor um, into Java 7 code, for example, or something similar. 
Um, so uh, we need a few minor adjustments and so on. So this is also a great way to kind of highlight that quickly. Yeah, that's about it. Um, looking forward to the next challenges. Um, thanks for listening and make sure um, to check out the other videos in the GitLab Do Ch Coffee Chat series. Um, I will also link the GitLab Do use cases documentation in the description so you can follow along uh, what other use cases are possible with GitLab Do. Bye-bye. Um,